Do you wonder what the e-symbol on your mobile phone means? The e-symbol represents the edge technology, which is part of the second generation GSM networks. When you see the e-symbol on your phone, you can expect an average data rate of 130 to 200 kilobits per second. Now, to be clear, you will only see the e-symbol on your phone if your mobile network operator is using the GSM technology. If your network operator uses the CDMA technology like IS95 and CDMA2000, then you will not see this e-symbol. When GSM networks were introduced to launch the second generation of mobile networks, they only had the circuit switch capability. The circuit switch technology only enabled voice calls and text messages in GSM. Later, a technique called circuit switch data or CSD was introduced in GSM networks to enable mobile data using the circuit switch technology. The key mobile data technology in GSM networks using the circuit switch technology was HSCSD or high speed circuit switch data. Soon after HSCSD, the packet switch technology was introduced in GSM networks. The packet switch technology was led by the GPRS general packet radio service technique, which enabled packet switch mobile data in GSM networks. Now, this is where the edge technology comes in. Edge stands for enhanced data for global evolution. The edge enhancement provided two separate updates, one for HSCSD and the other for GPRS. The edge enhancement for GPRS is called eGPRS or enhanced GPRS. Since HSCSD technology is now obsolete, the E symbol on your phone means eGPRS or enhanced GPRS. The GPRS enhancement can give you a maximum data rate of 171.2 kilobits per second. However, the average speed in GPRS is between 30 to 50 kilobits per second. The edge enhancement can give you a maximum data rate of 384 kilobits per second. The average data rates with edge are between 130 to 200 kilobits per second. So if you're being served by the edge technology, you will see the E symbol. And if you're being served by the GPRS technology, then you will see the G symbol on your mobile phone. Now, if you are with a decent mobile operator, you're likely not to see this E symbol very often. However, from time to time, you may see the 3G technology symbols H and H+. H stands for HSPA or High Speed Packet Access, and H+, stands for HSPA Evolution. So if you see the H symbol on your phone, you can expect a data rate of 3 to 5 Mbps, and if you see the H plus symbol on your phone, you can expect data rates of between 5 to 8 Mbps. Now a key question is, why do you get the E symbol on your phone if your mobile operator already has a 4G network? Now the thing with mobile network technologies is that just because you get a 4G network doesn't mean that the mobile operator gets rid of the 3G and 2G networks. It basically means that the 2G and 3G networks coexist with the 4G networks. But now that we already have the 5G networks, it is likely that some of the 2G and 3G networks may get phased out gradually. The 2G GSM networks use lower frequencies compared to the 3G and 4G networks. Since lower frequencies can travel further, it means that whenever you are outside of the range of 4G and 3G networks, you are likely to be served by the 2G networks. That is because the 2G GSM signals can reach where 3G and 4G signals can't. Now let's see what you need to do if you see this e-symbol and you want to get rid of it. Now, if you see this e-symbol on your phone, one thing is for sure that you won't be able to browse on the phone properly. If your mobile network operator does not have proper 4G or 3G coverage in that area, then there's nothing you can do. So practical advice could be to get out of that area so that you can be covered by the 3G or 4G networks. If, however, you live in an area where you mostly get the e-symbol on your phone, then you need to look for a new mobile operator that can help you get 3G or 4G on your phone. It is however possible that maybe your phone is locked to the 2G network, which is why you're getting this e-symbol and you're not going on 3G or 4G. The way to check that is to look at the preferred network mode on your phone, which can tell you whether or not you're locked to the 2G network. If you don't know how to do that, have a look at these pictures.
Thank you for watching this video. I have written a very detailed post on this topic. If you are interested, have a look at the link in the description below.